again. Die so. Because I'm addicted. It's an addiction. All washed out. Just gonna put everything up here because it's a lot easier to get to. We have today finally got some royal milk tea. I love this packaging. This little short stubby can like me. I tried this, I bought this last time. It has like a little mayonnaise, like drizzle on it, and it comes with like dried vegetables, which is really good. It was very good, I had to get another one, and then I got another flavor, this one's probably a little hotter. And a little Hokkaido cream. Let's see here. Took me forever to find their origami paper, and it's not a big store, so. I'm white for correcting, color correcting, and mistakes. This is the same brand as I got the last time. Permanent marker, white paint marker. It's really washed out. This is the poster version. It's a little bit bigger. There. Are these frames? I like these frames very decorative but I'm gonna either like maybe keep it white but uh wanted to spray paint it black. I got a little hammer because I can't find my hammer. It's like a little bitty little hammer. This is a present, a little coin bag. Really cute. Um Mark did buy this oil based marker. Two in one Big fat marker, little marker. I just noticed the writing in the picture frame. <laughs> Found a little USB charger. Double port. Got this cutting board. A little small cutting board. I finally found some um, blank paper. They have a lot of lined paper notebooks. So I finally found one that was unlined. So this can be like a small little sketchbook with a plain cover. I can decorate the cover with stuff. And then it's a really quick trip to Daiso this time. I didn't get out that much stuff. However, I did get this yummy treat. It is like a giant version of the small little cones I got in the variety pack. Um, I ate this immediately, so I knew it wasn't going to make it into my video. If you are vegan like me, I guess you can... Also got these papers. Like I said before, I was looking for the origami papers. These are little small envelopes. They have a bunch, like some this small, like this. And these were a little bit bigger, but they'd be really cute to put something small in there. A little envelope flap in the back. And then... I don't even know how many, let's see. Eight sheets, so eight little mini things. Then I got these origami papers. This one is 3D, 3D check pattern origami. Let's see, like, ooh, 3D there. And this one is holographic, so it changes color there. And there's like 10 sheets of those in there. Traditional Japanese patterns or Japanese patterns. I missed these last time and I saw them. I saw another YouTuber grabbing some of those and I wanted some too, but I didn't see them at my store and I didn't see them this time. So I almost passed them until I asked somebody and they went and found them for me. So what I'm drinking now. Mari said this is pronounced tasty. But I think this looks funny or tasty. <laughs> but this is the matcha green tea latte. It's just green milk tea, basically. Mitsuwa Marketplace.
was half grocery store, half restaurant. I had like three different restaurants and a bookstore and a tea shop. It was like all in one like marketplace, all in one, one room. The marketplace was kind of small, but they did have some cool stuff. It was almost like being in Japan, like really being in Japan because almost nothing was translated. But like this, you know, see everything has like the writing and some of it was like, you can still see what it is, like like you kind of can do. Love these, so I got those, got the Japanese rice crackers there. Um, I found the same thing. We went to Mitsua first, so I bought this first there because I liked it and I wanted some more, but it was like $4 almost at that marketplace. And at Daiso, it was $2.50, so. There you go, proof right there that stuff is cheaper. Then I got some more gummy candies. These are blueberry mochi flavor. They look really cute. And then I got some flavor packets, stir frying, Cantonese rice, chow mein, and some more poppy because it's my favorite. But that's it this time. Just wanted to share that with you guys because I love going there. And like I said before, if you can find one, you should definitely find one. I'll let you know how some of this stuff, like this is new, so I'm gonna, I'll let you know how that tastes on my social media probably. And this doodad here. Uh, we also found these um, noodles at Mythology. Organic udon and chasoba, which is green tea noodles, there. You can see them. Can you see them inside the packaging? No. But you can see these inside. So, that's the noodles on the inside there. And then some dried mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms. This giant bottle of unsweetened bold green tea very bold he says they have the small versions that dice of this but this was like the biggest one that we run across so have some of that now I want to share with you the other thing I mentioned in my last video when I said I think I wrote that I said rice cake but I meant to say mochi which is my other favorite snack and I bought a big one. I'll show it to you because I already ate it. I ate it as soon as we left the store, but I did buy some that were, um, you can also buy them on the shelf so that you can just take them home and not worry about refrigerating them. But I, as soon as I get them home, I refrigerate them so they're cold because I like them cold, but they're basically like, um, this is one flavor, but they come in a variety of flavors. And this is the strawberry mochi. And, I've never had this particular brand, but I've had a couple of other brands. And it's basically like a jelly, rice jelly, like a gummy bear texture. Um, very chewy on the outside, and it's lightly dusted, like lightly, lightly dusted with sugar, like sugar powder. And there's some savory flavors like the red bean and sesame, which I like also. Um, these were on the shelf, so they had fruit flavors like strawberry and mango. So I really like strawberry, so I got the strawberry flavor one. And so basically, like a lightly dusted little rice jelly, and it probably has like a raw strawberry filling in it. Let's see. Chewy. Oh, this is like a double filling. Like a strawberry strawberry jelly with a cream kind of strawberry and cream. Anyways. Tastes like strawberry. Tastes like it could be real strawberry, honestly. Like a strawberry jelly. Never had one with two flavors in one. Oh, well, that's interesting. It's really good. It's kind of refreshing. It's not, it's really not that sweet at all. 
but it is like a light, light sweetness, jelly chewy kind of flavor. So, anyways, there's a lot of different flavors in. Um, you see, the one that I bought today at the store was huge. These are a lot smaller. They usually come in smaller variety packs like this, but that's one of my favorite things to eat and get at um, these stores. So that and the pastry rolls. So two favorite things you should always look for when you go there that I promise you, you will probably love. And milk tea, which I love milk tea. But if you don't like milk tea, you can always find some really good brand of tea. But that's it. But that's it this time. I wanted to share that with you guys because I love going there. And like I said before, if you can find one, you can definitely find one. I'll let you know how some of this stuff, like this is new, so I'm gonna, I'll let you know how that tastes on my social media probably. And this doodad here. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye. My hair's all wet because it's hot outside. Summer. So I had to take a cold shower and get cooled off. Alright, this was an early casualty that did not make it into my video, sorry. This is the giant mochi I found. It was sesame flavored, it was really good, and it's gone! Now I'm going to show you some of the things that I got, um, what they look like on the inside. I'm actually curious about some of the origami papers I picked up, so I'm going to show you what those uh, look like up close outside of the packaging.
as always guys um thanks for watching and you can find me on my social media at the end of the video um i use the same username for everything check out my website johnnyperezart.com i do have a store there to purchase original artworks and i also have a print shop and sketch shop uh, on etsy and you can find me at etsy.com slash hot press that's it it's hot summer stay cool bye